We end tonight with a lesson in how to turn a troubled school around. In this case, it took financial incentive and a determined principal. Elaine Quijano reports from Camden, New Jersey. For the students of this elementary school in one of America's most troubled districts, boys and girls, up this year has brought John. hope through a new I radical approach. The newly named Wiggins College Preparatory Lab School in Camden, New Jersey, is a turnaround school, part of President Obama's $3 billion initiative to remake more than 700 of the nation's worst performing schools. To receive $2.6 million in federal grants, Wiggins was mandated to undergo major changes by retraining teachers, overhauling the curriculum with intense reading and math programs, and bringing in specialists to help struggling kids. Additionally, they extended the school day to 4.30, three days a week, and recruited parent volunteers to work with students. The most drastic change? Firing the old principal and bringing in Lana Murray, who has to show results by June or risk losing federal funding. I'm up for the challenge, so I'm excited about it. Um, we have a lot of issues here in the school, but we can do it. We followed Principal Murray's progress since the first day of school. You're going to have a wonderful year. Her efforts are already showing results. Last fall, none of these kindergarten kids were reading at grade level. Today, 75 percent are above or on target. Murray attributes this to a change in teaching attitudes. Before you used to hear, well, I taught that. Why didn't they get it? Now the conversation has turned to how is what I'm teaching affecting the child? Already, these Wiggins fifth graders can feel the difference. We got new things on computers. We didn't have it in fourth grade. And we type and stuff. And then also every morning we read. And, uh, and I like to read. Microsoft Office. But critics say the turnaround model is a blanket approach that fails to recognize problems unique to individual districts. There's no model that says we're going to send in expert evaluators, educators who really know their stuff, and find out why your school is doing so poorly. Instead, they're coming in with a hammer and saying, fire the principal. Now, there are communities where excellent principals are being fired. What has been done in the past has not worked. So we have to do something differently. Public education has to change what we're doing if we're going to survive. I really want to be a cop. A football player. A doctor. Or a, doctor. Or a scientist. Their principal believes the turnaround model is the best chance for these kids to fulfill their dreams. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Camden, New Jersey.